Hello and welcome back to Just an Elysian Tale. I think this is about part 16 and I'm going to try and get this game finished in today's recording session I think. So on with the story. General Gaius? What news commander? Ah so it wasn't that guy that killed then. It, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome they know you're coming, element? guys. He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. I but think not. <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. Yes, but you're on a psychogenocide crusade. I, I'm really not going to help you. Alright, so what do we got? Da -da 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 -da. I say I could go all the way back to, say, the Glade and try and get some of the stuff that I missed the first time because I couldn't get it there, but I can't be bothered. So, on with the story. Chapter 5. Legend. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, this section's going to be set in a volcano, isn't it? Oh, cool. What can I say? Volcanoes are fun. Apart from the whole you know, exploding and killing lots of people thing. So I'll save again. Alright, on we go. Yeah. Halt! Who goes? Oh, it's you! Apologies, Miss Warren. Please. Enter. Thank you. Now, I've actually been informed by one of my commenters that you can actually buy material straight from the crafting thing. Oh, and apparently you can. Cool. Wasn't aware of that, but uh, that could be useful in the future. Do I have anything I actually want to craft? I kind of want to craft that. I need more gold, more of those. Yeah. Actually, I could get most of the stuff I need. Just be short a bit of gold. Hmm. Uh, yeah, because I'm also after that metal augment, but I need metal shards or something along those lines, which I don't have. Anyway, thank you to that particular commenter for pointing that out. Wasn't aware of it, but that will be helpful, I trust. Okay, how come these dudes can run so much faster than I can? Wow, there's a lot of them. Wow, the frame rate's tank in there. Come on. Speak. Come on. Words. Words will be good. It. Thinking about it. Come on. There we, we go. your presence in Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp's support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. Thank there you. is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Thank you for that. Hello, Ginger. I'm not going to talk to you at the moment. But I am going to... So yes, it was Sanjin I needed to talk to, wasn't it? Okay, for some reason it seems to be taking its time actually buffering up the conversations at the moment. I've seen it do this before, I'm not quite sure why it happens. Ah, you've Never arrived left. just in time, Mithrarin. My name is Sanjin. I'm what you'd call a chief engineer, I suppose the term is. The Elder mentioned you needed some help? Yes, indeed. In the caverns below, we've set up machinery to provide the camp with power and water. 
Unfortunately, seismic activity has shut down both systems, so we need to get them running once more. And the I've tunnels are overrun with creatures. Handling the battle preparations, so if you could, I would appreciate it if you went down there to examine the generators. Sure, Sanjin. I'll take a look. Thank you. You'll need to restart the generator and water pump when you're down there. We'll require both systems to be running if we're going to stand a chance against General Gaius. Fair enough. So, do we go down or across first? Do we think? I think I'll go down. Down's always a fun direction. And not sinister at all. Let's so save. Let's go this way first, I think. Remember the dash. Remember the dash. There goes that guy. Okay, bad guys. Ah, I've kind of forgotten the control system for this game. So we've been playing Dark Souls over the weekend and getting absolutely horribly murdered all the time. So just need to get back into the flow of this system of this combat system. Ooh, Buffalo Burger. Cool. Another one that boosts attack as well, so that's quite nice. Okay, let's see some ice cream. King crab legs. Should bring back quite a bit of health. That's quite nice. Now let's keep on moving. Why must everything be on fire? Ah! Why must I be on fire? I am about to die, aren't I? Yes, I am. I am very, very, very dead. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen as soon as I fell in the lava. Oh well, the last save wasn't too long ago. Yeah, it's just here, yeah, that's fine. I mean, at least before I picked up all those awesome things. Easy way to kill him. There we go, much better. Getting back into it. Yes, as I said, I've been playing Dark Souls over the weekend because I got it for absolutely dirt cheap in the Steam sale. It's four quid. Which is, you know, can't complain about hideously cheap. Come on, are you going to let me over or am I going to have to? Okay. And they're gone. Stuff to me. Remember, double jump. How on earth do platforms hang in midair in these co in these kind of games? I've always wondered that. <laughs> Schmucks. Seriously, how thick do you get? Okay, I don't think I want to go that way yet. That feels like the way out. Or rather the way back. Let's go this way. Yes, this looks like a thing. Well, this is the water pump. Huh, no wonder it stopped. These vines are growing all over it. I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off? And by using, for example, this? Oh, that seems to work. There we go. Well done, Fidget. Alright, that seems to fix it. Nice work, Fidget. Ah, oh, stop. You're making me fun. Alright, excellent. One down. Two to go. I thought it was going to land me in a pile of lava. Which would have been mean, but it's the kind of thing I can completely see a game doing. Because some game designers are just evil. Right. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, bugger. That hurt. Ice cream. Yep. Yep. Nope. 
that one, this one, that thing. Put that. Okay. What are we over here? As I'm sure I mentioned in a uh, previous video, I really like the design on the double jump. In terms of normally you just sort of jump randomly in midair. Here you actually see. I said he sort of uses cloak almost as a set of wings, but they actually grow wings. Either way, it's you know, it's it's a pretty cool piece of design. So. Right. Okay. Yeah, this is all going to be about climbing without getting burned, isn't it? I am resisting the urge to start singing here. Ah, darn it. Because <laughs> I kind of feel like singing um, the Alan Parsons Project too close to the sun. Ah! Oh, double. Ah! Oh, I'm going to die here. Maybe not. So I haven't seen any uh, shops around, have I? So I can't buy any health items, I don't think. I can buy materials through the teleporter, not items. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, that was close. Okay, and then I need to get up there. There we go. And that's the generator. Well, there's the generator. Let's see if we can find a way to get it working again. I sense no energy emanating from the device dust. Perhaps there is a way to return its spark? Lightning! Well, that worked. Well done, Fidget. The camp should now be receiving power. Honestly, Fidget, where would I be without you? Probably still be wandering around in the mountains outside of Roar. Probably. Wait, what? <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, that's the generator and the water pump back online. Let's return to Sanjin. Excellent, so that's that job jobbed. Very effectively jobbed, I should add. Oh, back I had forgotten about this. Bad, not too bad, and up we go. Okay, so let's turn to this guy. Excellent work, Miss Rarin. Now that the power and water systems are working again, we can hold our ground against Gaius' soldiers. You have saved many lives this day. You're very welcome. Now let's go find that scout. That's what have I got here. Uh, put that there just in case I need a big health boost. There we go. Uh, did you hear something? Nope. But I have learned to trust Fidget's instincts. So, uh, eyes open, people. Uh-oh. That, to me, oh, looks no. like the scout. Just look! It's the missing sentry. What happened here? This to be an invisible dude. Alright. Cures repair report. Okay. Fair enough. Yellow. Do I have that? No, I don't. Fortunately, the old adage you can't fight what you can't see is very true. Unless they're right there. Get him. Cloaking technology. Wonderful. 
Ooh, a chest. Uh oh, so I've got another goon over there. Guess it was. And he's down. Magna mantle, eh? That's pretty good. I say that gives me a pretty decent defense boost. That would give me a massive boost. But you know, don't have any metal shards, unfortunately. And I don't know what drops metal shards. Unfortunately, so I'd better level up now. Uh, another point in defense, I think. See, I wonder if you actually need to get. Because I don't know if this game has a new game plus. It may well do, and that, yeah, you might need that in order to actually level up all the way. Yes, yeah, so I think you need to hit these guys with lightning before they actually become vulnerable to your other strikes. And that's a smack. Right down into the ground. Yeah, I'm not sure where I need to go to get these sort of metal shards or whatever they are. I've been calling them metal shards because they sort of look metallic, but uh, that may well not be what they're called. Anyway, it's kind of a pity because two of the uh, most promising looking upgrades I need them and I'm not and I have yet to find any. Oh well. And I do like this game does the crafting system incidentally. Elder, I'm afraid I have bad news. We found Kier, but he was ambushed by guys as soldiers. He didn't stand a chance. Mm. Then it has already begun. Dust, we are nearly out of time. Please, help Sonjin get our camp support systems working once already again. Already done. Without them, we will stand little chance of mounting an effective defense. It sounds like Sonjin was able to get the pumps and generators working again. No doubt thanks to your help. With power and water flowing through our camp once again, we will be better equipped to handle our enemies in battle and properly tend to our wounded. Very Thank important. you, Dust. I believe we are as prepared as we possibly could be. With the enemy at our gates, we have no choice but to begin our assault. Haven't you ever our heard of digging are in? warriors gathering at the edge of the camp, waiting for you to lead them. Take this yellow resonance gem, Yeah, Dust. I figured I'd get the yellow gem Use to get through that to gate. Open the gate. Thank you, Elder, for everything. Whatever happens, Sen Mithrarin, know that I am honored to have stood before you. The Moonbloods will follow you unto death. Now go, and dust. Good luck. Thank you, Elder. Good luck to you. Just going to say Ginger? goodbye to Ginger. Jin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Aro was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. Mm. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listened to Jin? Yeah. He's kind of hard to ignore. Very he true. Is, isn't he? Or at least he was. He still is. No, Ginger. I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. Mm. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village, killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? 
I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin... Jin keeps him from taking control. Yeah. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path. To leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. I think Maybe if that happened, they'll someday. cease to be. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. As am I. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. I will be. Alright, Fidget, let's rock and roll. So, am I actually going to manage to get that ridiculous thousand hit combo while uh, doing this final battle, do we think? So I've got no idea how many bad guys they're going to throw at me. Cool. It could well just be a few you know, tough ones, or it could be boatloads of uh, really easy ones, or anything in between. Hello! Nice try with the cloaking suits, but it's not going to work. You know the old dad, you can't kill what you can't see? I can see you, suckers. Just reminds me of the plasma from a sword and leads in the first Halo. They might have been cloaked, but because they were carrying massive plasma swords, which didn't cloak, you could always tell exactly where they were, so that you could kill them. You know, at least in all the cinematics and things, whenever it's meant to be a cloak to leap the plasma sword, they always have the sense to turn them off until they actually want to stab someone. Which is definitely the smart way to operate. But you can't exactly switch off an actual sword. They are quite tricky to hide. This I know from experience. Yellow Resonance Stone. And onward to war. Save station. Save it. Hello, my slightly creepy friend. It's good it to see you once again. The secret is out, yes? It honestly wasn't that much of a secret. So, you were keeping watch on us this whole time? In a manner of speaking. Just making sure you were well supplied for the journey. Well, we appreciate the help. I am glad, my friend. Anything you need, you just let me know. Well, I'm probably going to need a lot of health items. That's one thing. Cell mode. Do, 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 do. do you have any of those funky... Hey, hey! Tough metal. That's what it is, is it? Just sell that. Dog tag. So yes, that actually means that in the near future, I'll actually be able to get spectral vest, sweater. Yes, that's that's good. So I can flog that. So yes, in the near future, I'll actually be able to get some of this stuff, which is good. Which to buy, but I'm gonna get another couple of ice creams because, well, I have a habit of getting burned because I'm an idiot. Lasagna with just the right amount of cheese, eh? Don't cut your fingers on the crab legs. I'm gonna resist buying health your items for the moment. Is most appreciated. Thank you. So I don't know how far there, in I now I am. Warriors are gathering. Ah, Mithraren. Superb timing. As you can see, our path out of the camp is blocked. Some manner of rock slide. Very unpredictable. Yes, that happens sometimes when you build your village in a volcanic wasteland. Hang on, is that their warriors? Three we'll dudes. Clear obstruction before we can oh, we are so dead. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Which 
means we have to, we're probably going to have to go down here. Like the chests. Blood chests. Well, at least I finally got some of that uh, tough metal, which I do need. Hey, voila. Whoa! Fidget Brian. I do quite like using the slide attack as a move. It, it just feels right to me. Or at least I got a refund on that treasure key. Even though there was no treasure in there. And another treasure key. Excellent. At least I got a few bits and bobs from going over there. Okay. They're just going to appear at random, are they? There we go. Round and round we go, where we stop, nobody knows. Ah! Idiot Richard, idiot. See, this is why I bought the ice cream. Because I'm an idiot. Yeah, let's quit those. Materials. So, can I... Because that's a lot better. So I'm missing some resources. So can I go to here and buy... I can buy one bit of tough metal, whereas I need about half a dozen. So I'll wait for the shop to restock a couple more times. Okay, that's going to take me up. Which I assume I don't want to do. I assume I want to go this way. Oh, yep. Oh, great, these dudes. There we go. Come on, open your mouths. There we go. There he goes. Back to lightning attacks. It's quite a long way down. Safe station. Whoa, that comes up pretty high. Oh yeah, I completely mean to that. This is the problem, if I wait for them to actually open their mouths, there we go. And they've exploded by the time I actually... Oh boy. Yeah, definitely not as much of a fan of the base attacks as I am of the utterly fantastic and slightly overpowered lightning attacks. Ooh, is that an a... That's an ability sphere. Press space while riding an air current to perform a massive upward boot. Oh, that's fun. Alley up. Alley up. That's, yeah, that'll be quite useful. And given that we're getting near the end of practical recording time for this video, I think after gaining a new ability, that's a decent point to pause it. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next part.